For many that do not know, I used to be in the gaming community. I know I've poked fun at it and had my fair share of criticism, sometimes. I thought it would be an interesting experiment to do the Jemmy Community Iceberg. If you don't know what the Iceberg model is, it's a template that displays the hidden truth that only a small portion of the information is available or visible about a situation or a phenomenon. The original information or data is either unavailable, hidden, or very hard to search for. And so, that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So let's hop right into it. Big Mouth Billy Bass, owned by Jimmy Industries. When doing any basic research, you get prompted by the wiki where it clearly says that it's owned by Jimmy Industries, with a sign of YouTube videos. Pretty basic stuff to say the least. Basic info. No matter what search term you use, Big Mouth Billy Bass, Billy Bass, or even Singing Fish, you'll always get the similar results giving you the basic info about these singing fish. I mean, hell, they even have their own singing fish wiki! Although, the majority of people don't know how accurate it is. Annoying. Love them or hate them, they can be and will be annoying after a period of time. Most people who get one of these find it irritating and annoying after a short period of time spent listening to their tune on repeat. This is the majority of typical people who aren't collectors. But it wouldn't be surprising if even collectors found them annoying. Randomly pops up on YouTube's recommendations. Let's be honest, you'd probably gotten one of these videos on your there recommendations. Am, Barry, and if not, you will soon. These videos will randomly pop up on your recommendations. I know what did to me, and I wasn't even looking for a singing fish video. It randomly popped up all because I was watching a Lego video. This could be mainly because the video had the word shark in it leading YouTube software to hunt down any other keywords that contain the word shark. So YouTube's AI will hunt down another video similar for you to watch in interest of staying on their website, or just to get you to click on another video. Either way, it will happen. Singing fish. Not much to say on this part at all. I mean, if you just ask someone if you know what a singing fish is, it's probably a little bit easier than asking if you know what Big Mouth Billy Bass is. But it just depends on what the type of person you're talking to. It's kind of broad, but people would get a sense of, of an idea. Unless you're just Googling it, then Google will automatically tell you. Oddly quirky, most people I've talked to about these things would always refer to them as, quote, oddly quirky. Many may have different experiences with these animatronic fish, but from what I've always heard from others telling me this, they always say it's Oddly quirky. What's so quirky about collecting singing fish? Gag gift. As these things were rising from the 90s to the early 2000s, these were typically popular as gag gifts rather than collectible items. Yeah. Billy Bass is a common singing fish. It's true. On the surface level, you will find thousands of the same Big Mouth Billy Bass on eBay or Amazon. That's about it. <laughs> Big Mouth Billy Bones. Big Mouth Billy Bones, in theory, is the brother or, quote, dead version of the Billy Bass. Released after the success of the Billy Bass, this skeleton fish sings bad to the bones. <laughs> Billy Bass Sings for the Holidays During the early 2000s, Jemmy released a Christmas version of the Billy Bass, which sang Twas Night Before Christmas. They would soon release a secondary version having it sing two songs, Up on the Housetop and Jingle Bells. Cool Catfish Cool Catfish was another asset from Jemmy. This fish spawned during the mid-2000s. It wasn't the most popular success, but garnished more revenue than Starbucks market crash in 1999. The catfish would say 20 different phrases and sang a couple seconds of the song Bad to the Bones. There would later be a rapping version of this fish, but it was quickly pulled off the shelves. Travis the Singing Trout 
Travis is another Jemmy item that was released during the late 2000s, which gained more revenue than Cool Catfish, helping them grow. Travis would sing Rock the Boat and Do What Did He Do. Jimmy would soon capitalize on the success and create a Christmas version, which would sing the same songs as the Christmas Billy Bass. Jaws. After the popular movie Jaws, Jimmy would create a singing shark out of it. It took Jimmy a while to get loyalties from them to use their iconic Jaws soundtrack, even though arguably it's under fair use. The singing shark would play the Jaws iconic theme song and then transition to a parody of Bobby Darren's song, Mac the Knife. Different Varieties of Singing Fish As you're pretty much aware, I've been saying a lot of different versions of these singing fish, and there are plenty of knockoffs on top of the official ones. Those that are made by Jemmy and those that aren't. Jemmy's YouTube channel Not a lot of people know this, but Jemmy has an official YouTube channel. That's right, Jimmy Industries has an official YouTube channel. Who would have thought? If we strip away the fan accounts, we get the official Jimmy YouTube channel. Not a lot of people are aware that there is an official channel for Jimmy Industries. As of recording this script and recording this video, they have recently took down all of their videos as of writing the script. But I'll update if they ever decide to return them back to the public. Amazon X Jimmy. In 2019, Jimmy Industries partnered with Amazon to create a Billy Bass that would hook up to Amazon Alexa. This was considerably Jimmy's third peak in popularity, surpassing the Big Mouth Billy Bass 15 year edition. Fun fact by the way, I actually managed to get my hands on the Amazon Alexa Billy Bass before it was released. I even got photo evidence, still in the box, never opened it. It's for a future project. A big one. Two thousand nine McDonald's commercial. In two thousand nine through two thousand ten, McDonald's released a commercial to promote their filet of fish. They got in contact with Jimmy Industries and decided to work on a commercial that would soon be a hit in the market. Finally, Frank the Fish was born, singing the iconic commercial song filet fish while having an ending of the McDonald's theme song. Also, fun fact, I'm the one that made an upscale of the commercial! Please watch, I'm the original- Singing Fish Stops a Burglary In February of 2014, a Minnesota bait shop was broken into but nothing was stolen. This was made into multiple news headlines, while also showing pictures. When interviewed with the shop owner, he says a big male Billy Bass may have saved his business from a burglar. Tom Allen arrived to find the door had been kicked in at the Hooked on Fish Bait Shop in Rochester on Monday, February 23rd, 2014. He says the deadbolt was even damaged, but nothing was missing. I saw that the door had been damaged and the deadbolt was actually bent at like a 45 degree angle. Allen says that he thinks that the singing Big Mouth Billy Bass hung near the door so it triggers when customers enter and leave probably scared the burglar away as it began to sing Take Me to the River. I hadn't thought about him scaring off burglars. This is one fish story that got the best of a very jittery burglar. Don't worry, be happy. Florida man slapped with a billy bass. On April 22nd, 2018, a Sebastian man hurled a big mouth billy bass at another man after an argument between the two. Sebastian police say Gregory Carney, 54, is facing a charge of domestic battery after police say he slapped the man with the toy fish to annoy him. The man was cut on his eyebrow, according to police report. The man told police he was arguing with Carney because Carney was playing with the fish just to aggravate him. He was fed up. The man said he put the singing fish in the trash and that's when Carney grabbed the fish from the trash and threw it at him. This also made it onto a 4chan post. Looks like Billy Bass now has a third usability besides scaring off a burglar. Fish McBites In 2013, McDonald's released a commercial promoting their limited time offer, Fish McBites, where for one clip, they showed a bunch of small fish on one giant board. Although this was never a product being sold, not only did it catch your average viewer attention, it also captured the Jemmy community. Jemmy community. Since I just mentioned the Jemmy community earlier, might as well throw it onto this list. As high demands like conventions, so are communities, and Jemmy is no exception. The community has been around since 2010, officially. 
From there onwards, more people would have officially called it a community during the early 2013. That was their highest peak. It would never be the same that it once was. Most people who buy Sticking Fish have zero idea that there's a community based around a private company. And like with all good communities, it turned, well, embarrassing to say the least. We'll probably get more on that later. Low battery. Recording animatronics with low battery was a big norm back then. I mean, it kind of still is, but you don't see them as much as you do back then. Their creepily distorted, nasally corrupted charge is what made it a good video. And possibly a creepy pasta would have been good during those times of the internet. I mean, heck, even I did something similar like that. Credit Union commercial. A commercial by Credit Union showed a few seconds of a big mouth billy bass as a reference for paywall. Either way, lovely reference. Billy Bass back on the market. This is a reference to multiple articles on the Amazon X Jemmy saga. People were hyped to see him back on the market, and at one point was monitored by corporations to check Billy Bass's stock market value. Barr installs 70 plus big mouth Billy Bass fish to sing popular songs. In Chicago 2019, the owner of Royal Palm Shuffleboard Club decided to purchase 70 plus singing fish, all being Billy Bass, to sing popular songs. If this video gets 200 likes, I will try and surpass 70. I will beat their record. Two thousand six through two thousand twelve. These were considered the classic era of not only YouTube, but also for videos that surrounded these singing fish. This was before it was ever considered a quote community. If you stumble upon these old videos, you're in for a treat. Billy Bass Adoption Center. In Little Rock, Arkansas, there is a restaurant that has a ton of singing fish that people give out and, and want to get rid of. Their motto is literally, quote, where animatronic singing fish go to retire. Not a lot of people know that this exists, and those that do, they don't even know there's a community surrounding these fish. non jemmy items. What becomes great success comes great copycats. There are a ton of non jemmy items out there, and knockoffs of the popular Billy Bass. They seem to not last long on the market, let alone to the public. They exist and stop producing them. Billy Bones is Billy Bass's brother. This has been a theory among people in the community on whether it's Billy Bass's brother, or Billy Bass himself dead. Nowhere in the box would say that, so this is all based on a theory that doesn't have much of a platform to stand on. Big Mouth Billy Bass 28 inches. For a limited time, Jimmy created a Billy Bass that was 28 inches, make it the world's largest Billy Bass. This was soon be discontinued only to hold a world record. The Jimmy community is toxic. For those who are in the community, without a doubt that it is filled with toxicity, people who aren't even a part of the community would get filled with dislikes due to what people in the community dislike. Think of it like dream stands when they get upset and try to cancel people, but in a way tinier scale. Dream stands would just eat the whole Jimmy community, without a doubt. Singing Fish Madness. Most people know Sam's Late Double Life 44 video. It was once blacklisted off YouTube. When searching for it back in 2011, it would never appear, making the view count stuck and never growing. This was soon later fixed and resolved, claiming it to be an AI bug, but it took about a year to get it resolved. The only way it got views back then was having it show up in people's recommendeds, and it did. Even if you're in the Jimmy community or not, you have at one point seen this video. And if not, Maybe eventually, I don't fucking know. Drama. Surprise! <laughs> drama. Knowing it's a community, you cannot not expect drama. Not much to say about this other than it's ridiculous that people argue about a fucking animatronic fish that's programmed to do something for the entertainment and amusement for your casual buyer. Literal knockoffs. There are singing fish that just look outright weird. These knockoffs didn't last long, hence why the majority of them are so rare now. Singing Fish Prototype These prototypes are not too hard to find. Sometimes they're unnoticeable until spoken about. They do exist. Some of them are on the market by mistake. Okay guys, so I just noticed something here between these two um, singing fish here. This one, um, 
I don't think is a prototype, but this one I think could possibly be a prototype. If you listen carefully at the end of these songs, I'm going to show you both of their songs. They leave out a note at the end of this one, so I'm going to show you both of them. Tell me what you think. Alright, so as you guys can hear in this, in the last part of the song, you hear someone playing an organ in the background. This one, they leave it out at the end. Now you guys notice that? At the end of this guy, they leave out that part, that last part of the organ playing. So drop a comment in the comment box and tell me what you guys think. Is this one a possible prototype? You guys decide. Movie specials. Rewatching popular movies, and TV shows for that matter. Do you have fish, Jesus? Of course. He was nailed to a board and hung in a man's study as a novelty to sing funny songs. Your god is a gag gift. You will spot the iconic singing fish. Something that would flow over the typical viewer's head, but because of the beauty of the internet, and me being able to rewatch videos on demand, they're pretty easy to spot. Jimmy Industries Corp v. Krisha Creations Limited. This was a lawsuit between two companies due to a technicality of their inflatable animatronics, where Krisha sued Jimmy due to their, quote, lack of safety to the consumer market. This would be their first and not last lawsuit. They ended it with open hands and no money was exchanged. Obscured movie scenes. You would see obscured scenes that are coming from unknown shows and movies that had been removed off the shelves and removed from the public, only to be refound in service from DVDs or VHS copies. Demonic Singing Fish. It's the exact same concept of having them as low batteries, but giving it that creepy vibes for the viewers. Especially if you've never seen these animatronics. <laughs> unlisted videos. If you manage to get stumbled upon an unlisted video, you're in for a treat. Usually unlisted to be hidden from the public, either for better or for worse. You can still find them around roaming around, especially in playlists. If you can find an unlisted video in a playlist, <laughs> it's good. Sucks channels. These channels have been a big swarm back in 2015 to 2016, where people would take a user's already existing name and add the word sucks at the end of it. Typically to get the viewer upset and harass them with it, it happened a lot during this time, and they are still up to this day. You just have to find them. Trust me, there are some that are still up. Group Channels Drama There are multiple Jimmy community group channels around. Think of it as a smaller version of a content creator's group channel where they all live in the same house, but before they were as popular as they are now. Some Jimmy group channels do live near each other, so it's easier for them to film and shoot videos sometimes. This is usually on rare occasions. Sometimes, and even extraordinary rare occasions, they live in the same house. Most of them live literally via the internet, so it's just a wild mess. There has been drama between these group channels debating which one is the best slash better. Jemmy Community Secrets Jemmy Community Secrets is a channel created by who knows. It claims to be anonymous, but then has theories on who the owners are. There are a total of three. Why? I'm unsure. The moment I had left the community, this channel had appeared, so I never had the chance to experience the quote, pain in which they had done. Which, looking at their channel description, they all, except for one, say that they download and preserve videos from the Jimmy community so that they can be always watched. But the third account says something completely different, and they have managed to nab videos from channels that had long deleted them, for those that have been forgotten. For some reason, I managed to be a victim, <laughs> all because I said my input on the Jemmy community on a live stream. These three accounts make little to no sense, and if people truly hate them, hit them with a copyright strike or a community strike. 
the system is broken anyways, and they're re-uploading videos that aren't theirs, all for the purpose of harassment. So that's already two rules broken on YouTube's TOS. Hacked Billy Bass This used to be a trend back then, where people would hack the circuit board of a singing fish and have it programmed to sing something else. There was even someone who hacked a Billy Bass to hook it up to an Alexa before Jemmy parted with Amazon. Alexa, what's the weather? Currently, in Cambridge, it's 45 degrees with showers. Tonight, you can look for rainy weather with a low of 43 degrees. These videos you don't typically see in your suggestive recommendations. Search terms d don't really give you the good stuff either. Killing someone over a singing fish. A 4chan thread was once deleted talking about how a user went to their house and bashed them with a big mouth Billy Bass. The story makes no sense, although trying to go to it now leads to an error page, and even trying to bypass the error page just brings you to a dead end. Apparently two fishermen were having an argument, and one of them sent his friend over because one of which was sending death threats, and the person receiving them couldn't handle it properly, leading him to try and end himself. His friend never had the chance to stop him, so he flew over to his house and decided to beat him with the nearest item he can grab, that being a big mouth billy bass. Kind of similar to the Florida story but more intense. <laughs> oh my god. Custom singing fish. You see them all the time now, but before, custom singing fish were an interesting new thing. Combining the already existing circuits from another singing fish to another, this started a creative trend. You didn't see them as much back then compared to now, but they are more frequent and oversaturated sometimes. Important Videos Playlist If you didn't know, this playlist contains the singing fish. <laughs> the demonic Travis Trout singing fish. Not a lot of people know that. I actually forgot to add this part to my script, so this part's uncut. But there's really nothing much else to say. But it's in the playlist, and I thought that was pretty cool. Private videos. If you stumble upon a video that was once privatized, then you better have had that video downloaded. I know there were times I've downloaded a video for background visuals, only to find out the video I had downloaded was privatized. You can mostly see them in the playlist, but they're so subtle that sometimes they're gone and you'll never know about it. Reputations ruined. Think twice before posting on the internet, some people say. Sometimes people in the community take it so far that it ruins the reputations of others and or themselves. There are some that post stuff they soon delete only for it to be re-uploaded by someone else. There are people who have left because of people who said one bad thing about them that wasn't true, and then having it spread like wildfire. I have experience with my reputation not being the best in the community due to a couple of people spreading a false narrative towards me, betraying me as a toxic individual. Ever since I left the community, a couple of people tried to spread what seemed a false narrative to try and get my reputation in the community bad. They show no evidence to their claims, and people still believed it. This is mainly why I made a video talking about the reputation in there, to clear my name under these false allegations that were thrown against me. This is in reference to the singing arowana, although there is a dark history with one of these at... It wouldn't fit well with YouTube's TOS, but to keep things simple and not get completely fucked, it was part of an organization in the late 90s in 1999. These were used during controversy in China affiliated with the Communism Party. These were mass produced after the success of the Big Mouth Billy Bass, having the catchphrase be which translated to English is congratulations, although take that as you will. This doesn't seem like much, but their signal code was to processly their company at the code word once they catch their victims quote congratulations they would say after the death of the victims this was very 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 uncomfortable to research take this as you will oh my god low resolution screenshots Whenever a rare instance of a singing fish appears, people tend to screenshot it in like the lowest resolution. 
either because people do not know how to fucking right click on an image and save it, or the image itself is low resolution. But sometimes they would put an obnoxious watermark of their own that could easily be findable. It's not their photo they took, it's somebody else's. But granted, they don't claim it that they're the ones that own the photo, but watermarking somebody else's photo is just scummy. Putting it in that sense. I understand they want to prevent people from saying, oh, look what I found when, you know, they, they didn't find that image. Because, you know, that's just weird. But these low res screenshots give me this weird, eerie vibe of which we don't know the origin from. Sometimes we don't even know what the fuck the original photographer or videographer is. Building its own grave. This is something that has been thrown around a lot. How the Jimmy community has been slowly building and digging its own grave. This can be necessarily true, although there are people still in the community. You see people leave in the community giving it this illusion that it's slowly dying and finalizing its grave. Speaking of which, people leaving the community. There has been a vast flow of people leaving the community. It's at a higher rank than it once was before. You can make the claim that once people leave, others join to fill in, but is that necessarily true? And is that even for the better? There have been more people leaving than joining. Whether you want to admit it or not, it is kind of true. Anonymity, or anonymous, I don't fucking know if I said that right. With all of these quote, sucks channels, the hatred comments, the Jemmy community secrets, there is so much anonymity in the community, let alone the entire YouTube site half the time, but talking about the community, you see it all the time. All for the sole purpose to get the reaction out of these collectors. Deleted channels. There have been channels on YouTube who've been a part of the Jimmy community that just erased their entire channel. Either they deleted it or got copyright strike to death. They do happen. A lot of the times, they never hear back from them. We never hear back from them. There are some that come back, but most of the, th but most of them are just gone for good. Unsolved mystery of people who left the Jemmy community. A lot of those who leave the community either end up stop uploading or continue to carry on something else in their life. Although they never talk about what they do next after they leave, that's up to them. They have the rights to stay quiet on their own YouTube channel if they decide to leave or stop collecting. People assume that once they leave the community, they just stop uploading. That's not entirely true. I stopped associating myself with the community. I left and I'm still uploading videos and whatnot. It's their own life. Although, if we're playing devil's advocate here, instead of heaven, <laughs> then it does leave a creepy vibe, I suppose. But take that as you will. Deleted videos. Similarly to the unlisted and privated ones, having one saved after it being deleted is quite frankly interesting, yet cool, depending on the situation. I believe I've already talked about this topic too many times, I just perpetuate myself at this point. If I continue... So I'm going to leave it at that. It's pretty cool and interesting if you have a video that's unlisted or a link to it directly. While I was recording this, I forgot to add in toxicity that was also in this list. But I feel like you guys get the gist of it, so I'm not gonna add it. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for people who want to learn about their interests. Unironically speaking here, I actually used to use Skillshare back then when I when I wanted to learn how to edit and shit. Not only that, but I also use Skillshare to make instrumental beats that you occasionally see not only on this channel, but also on SoundCloud that I forgot I have sometimes. Hush. Even for my previous projects, I've even used it. I, I will unironically say that I genuinely have learned from Skillshare. So it's pretty cool to see this happening, but hey, don't take it from me. Take it from one of my friends, Adam. Adam, you have the floor. Skillshare is great. I use Skillshare a fair bit when I decided to try and learn the mess that is After Effects. 
I learned how to make a VHS overlay, and I also watched a four hour course on how to use 3D space and cameras in After Effects. That was a very long time. I also used it to learn various things in Premiere, like smooth keyframing and color correction. And I even used it to learn how to do voiceover and write this very script I'm reading off right now. To say Skillshare is a great service would be an understatement. Skillshare makes learning a new skill a piece of cake because of its many useful features like class projects. Class projects allow your tutors to easily leave resources for you to play around with and follow along with the class. It also allows you to easily jump between segments of a lesson to find a specific piece of information you may need. I did this with that 4 hour after effects tutorial I mentioned. But it doesn't stop there. Skillshare also allows you to download courses to stream offline, so you can keep learning literally anywhere. You could be underwater, in space, in a dark alleyway, or even researching about singing animatronic fish. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for Skillshare with code RViewerFree to get 20% off your next Skillshare subscription. The For You Bubble Bobber Shark. This is possibly the rarest Jemmy item you can possibly find. Ironically, because it's not made by Jemmy at all. This singing shark not only has the nameplate as quote, for you, but also sings La Bamba. There have been research after research after research. No luck. People have claimed they have found it, only later for it to be taken down and forgotten. This singing shark is an item as of current, Nobody has, nobody in the Jemmy community at least, except for some heavily shortages of screenshots. Not many of these screenshots are around, and they are definitely very hard to come by, since no one in the Jemmy community has it. As of for now, only time will tell. Hopefully you enjoyed this iceberg. I mainly did this as a shit post, so hopefully you found this quite comedic. This took a long time to work on and research. And let me know if you found something interesting you didn't know about. A lot of these do seem broad and not as quote scary, but that's kind of the whole point of a shit post. So hopefully you enjoyed and I'll catch you and reel you guys in later.